Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Cooler Master V6 GT CPU cooler. Previously I reviewed the V8 and the V10. This one here is the V6 GT model. There's another model that's just the V6. A few differences with this uh, muscle car type of uh, engine that they uh, show here in the box, which is pretty cool. And a few differences from the V6 that I'll point out in a second. Now this is a quite uh, heavy looking um, engine as you can see here with an oil cap on top. Let's take it out of the box so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see here it's a nice square block basically with two fans. Here are the dimensions and the weight almost one kilogram and uh, it's got two nice black fans as you can see on either side 120 millimeters each okay and uh, they're fairly silent it depends on the speed of course uh, as it kicks in but um, there it is okay black and the difference with the GT model here is that it's got a racing stripe going down and the button of that oil cap allows you to change the color from blue, purple, red for example instead of having red LED fans uh, on either side. Now um, the fins though are the same okay, as the uh, regular V6 model. This one has a chrome plated um, bottom okay, that makes contact so that is a difference with this one. Here are the connectors for the fans as you can see and uh, also there's a Molex connector for that uh, racing stripe LED on the top that I just showed you a second ago. Now the um, actual heat pipes, the six millimeter heat pipes are in a V-shape going through the uh, aluminum fins. Okay, so that's a pretty ineff effective uh, way of cooling. And uh, the design is uh, straightforward actually. So here's the uh, warranty, um, the brackets for Intel or an AMD everything is there you just need to pick and choose the right ones of course according to the instructions there's some thermal grease and all the uh, tools that you need to uh, install it I'll be installing it today on an Intel uh, 1366 socket board and uh, using the Intel Core i7 980X so the extreme 3.3 uh, gigahertz CPU so here I've already attached the uh, bracket at the top on one side put the CPU on there with some thermal grease here's the um, rear bracket at the bottom of the board which it comes with which I attached as well so basically it's fastening onto this from the other side and you just put the screws through okay and then you put the uh, top part of that heat sink basically the fins without the fan so I took out the fans very easy they just clip off in two seconds and then after you mount it you can clip the two fans back on there it is installed and ready to go did not get in the way with the uh, Kingston uh, HyperX RAM as you can see plenty of space there and uh, for those of you that are interested in seeing the uh, LED the racing stripe well here it is I turned it on and there it is in red blue and that uh, nice uh, purple type of color there so a uh, bit of everything there and uh, now let's look at the temperatures so again with this Intel Core i7 at default speed so without overclocking it we're looking at about uh, 56 57 degrees max at a hundred percent full load at no load it can go as low as 25 to, to 30 degrees Celsius so very very good results I must say I was pretty impressed with this uh, V6 GT cooler running it at default clock speeds now if we overclock it of course and run it at 4 gigahertz we're increasing the voltage so we're putting some pressure now on this uh, V6 GT to keep it cool at 100 percent full load it's topping up and getting up to 70 to 75 degrees Celsius no more than that as you can see it's hovering around 63 to 70 depending on the core so very good results here for an air-cooled system obviously um, you know it's gonna be a little bit more noisier having two fans but the results are pretty good and um, did not interfere with any of my other components so great job from Cooler Master once again on this uh, V6 GT and I'd like to thank them for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching